Wednesday. Today is our writing day, our lesson day. We missed a lesson today this week because um, it was the day after the show and we wanted our horses to rest. But anyway, good morning. Welcome to today. Last night, the girls went with Kaylee to the mall and Sam and I went to Costco, which is why we have all this Costco stuff. Nuts. And Gabby got something really cool. What is it, Gabby? Boba. Boba. So this is it. So you put ice cubes in it? Let's, let's just show it to them. And then in the bottom are these little beads and they're chewy, right? Can you show them? Pick them up a little. A little. There it is. See? These little boba beads. So this is what she got. It's called caramel boba milk tea and it's like a creme brulee flavor. Um, I love that flavor. This no, is, the flavor is caramel. Oh. Caramel. Caramel boba milk tea. It's a creme brulee flavor. Anyways, this is what it looks like. She got it from a showcase. store in the mall showcase. Super cute. It's got this cute little handle. And it looks like this. So this is like the tea. Yeah, it's the tea. Is it like coffee though? Yeah, it's like coffee. And then these are the the boba bubbles. What flavor are they? Those are caramel. Caramel, yeah. So anyway, that's what she made. Last night when we got home from Costco, Kaylee was here and she was saying like, you have to try this tea that Gabby bought. It's so good. And I tried it and I loved it. Like I don't usually like boba. I do like bubble tea, but oh my gosh, this stuff was so good, you guys. So, so, so good. I'm actually surprised that Gabby likes it. Do you like it, Gabby? Yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway, today is a rainy day. Let's take a look at that. It is raining it is a mess out there. I can even see the rain. The horses are inside. We fed them inside. We're just that kind of people. If our horses don't like to be out in the rain, we don't make them go out there. They can go out if they want to, or they can go in and they're down, in. I went down the long way down to the barn and there was a giant puddle, so I had to jump over it. This morning you did that? It was honestly a uh, thunder and lightning storm today. For half the morning, we didn't have any internet. We did school. We did school with no internet. We, you, don't need internet for school. you don't need internet for school. Why is this here? I don't know. I need to go get uh, baby chicken food and I need to go get food for our bearded dragon. Oh, you guys remember Trixie? She is doing great. It's so awkward to hold her. Why? Because I don't know how to hold her. Oh, I love holding her. Ellen, her nails hurt me because she digs her nails into me. Actually, maybe I should cut her nails. Yeah, you should. All right, maybe we'll do a nail cutting video. All the dogs need their nails cut. And the bearded dragon. Okay. Sweet, sweet Trixie who's looking good, feeling good. She, she wants to climb up my arm. She's finally got to this stage now where um, we don't have to feed her as much as often. Like the, the crickets and the, and the worms and stuff. Now she eats salad every single day. I feel like she's getting ready to be shed. able to shed soon. Yeah. Look at her. She's turning more white. Look at her listening to you guys. Look at her listening to us. But anyway, she's doing super well. We still love her. She's amazing. She's a really quiet, good pet to have. The only bad part about having her is that her tank always gets dirty because she has to have fresh salad every single day and by the time the night time comes the heat of her tank shrivels up all the salad pieces so you have to clean it out every single morning before you put fresh salad in but other than that she's that's like the hardest part of her of having her oh and another hard part is when the power goes out she has no yeah so we had the power went out recently for us we had like a small well we had a tornado touch down close to us and the power went out for two days and we had to get a generator because we were so worried about her. But we just knew not to feed her without her lights until we got the generator and that she would be okay. And it worked out really well. Because bearded dragons can't process their food without, without lights, without the heat. Without the heat and without the lights. But it's yeah. so close to my face. I can't, my eyes can't. <laughs> I know. She's so cute though. Like we just love her. Like you never think that a bearded dragon would be sweet, but she is really sweet. Sometimes when I pick her up, I go like this to pick her up or like forget how I pick her up, but I grab her sides. She's got these spikes. And she has spikes. And I get spiked by her spikes. Yeah. So I quickly take my hand away. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. my gosh. She grew a lot though. Like, wow. Mm -hmm. This is her adult. Her adult size. One of her fingers needs to be shed. That one. 
Oh, that's weird. All right, well, let's go and do our for our dogs and our bearded dragon's nails. I hate cutting them, but it has to be done. This is what my dog does on a rainy day. Normally, she's just laying there. Do you want belly rub? She loves attention. <laughs> Here's a better view of what she does all day on rainy days. And then she's matching Macy. Holy heck, the rain stopped and now it's gorgeous outside. It's so pretty. Look how gorgeous that is, you guys. It just looks so pretty out here. I see dark clouds out there though. We're headed to the barn. It's actually a horseback riding time. Earlier, like we've been inside all day because of the rain. It's been awful. I've been able to get the house clean though, so that has been a plus. It was such a good day for house cleaning and schoolwork. We started a new unit today, the girls and I, so we were able to get so much work done because of the rain. So rainy days are good for that. But it was nice and cool in there because of the air conditioning. And it was so cold outside this morning and at lunchtime when we fed the horses that I'm shocked. It's so humid. Did you know it was going to get humid like this? Yeah. Is it supposed to be nice tomorrow? I don't know. When, you're, I, uh, when you have horses, weather is everything. Weather is everything. What do you want to bet your horse is dirty? Huh? What do you want to bet your horse is dirty? Um, I'll bet you $50 million that he's dirty. You know, I bet that he's dirty. Anyways, we're waiting for Cabby and then we're headed out and we'll see you guys at the horse barn. It's our lesson night with our, it's our group lesson night, which is my favorite night of the week. Also, I'm gonna try and convince everybody to do a TikTok. I've been like thinking about how I could incorporate this one TikTok into our barn. And then today I saw a TikTok, somebody in the horse world already did this TikTok, but we'll just make it and put our own spin on it. But yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully everybody will agree to do it with me. I have an idea of what I want to do. And I'm not good at like that kind of stuff, that creative, super creative stuff. So I'm excited to try and get everybody to do it. Denver, but he has to be spotless. Because he, you go, you got lots of time. Go get your horse and get him clean. My gray is, hasn't rolled yet, so it's good. So Gabby's bragging that her gray has not rolled and so he's gonna be nice and clean and fresh out there Gabby's in the bar right now. She's gonna go out there poof. He's rolling. I'm gonna go see. Oh my gosh He really is rolling <laughs> She knows I'm lying. Oh no poured rain here all day. I Hate riding on rainy days because we have to ride inside. I like riding inside, but I hate I hate wet so this horse just comes right up to me. I turn my head like this and he puts his lips right to my lips and gives me like the hugest kiss. No, I have no treats. No treats for you. Who can name this horse? A hard one. Gabby's ridden this horse though. Listen, <laughs> he's also the same age as Chance. Actually like maybe a few months, maybe even a year older now. But when Gabby rode him, he was the same age as Chance. So comment below if you know the horse's name that I just showed you. I know you guys know this horse. You know this boy is getting his first trial with a ball. <laughs> He's like, oh no. This is the storm I was trying to tell her about before. Let's see, do you guys see it? <laughs> she walked him by the hay bale. Do you guys see it? Comment yes if you see it. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Just see her try to pull him away from the hay, and he was like so quick to grab that. It's gonna be impossible. <laughs> but you know what? It's funny because when we go on trail rides, he's really quick too, and he just grabs every piece of grass he can. He always has. He's got the big mouthful of the hay. <laughs> he ate it pretty fast. It's a stormy night. Look how shiny you are! Whoa. Doing the TikTok. You're in. Okay. We're doing the TikTok. Sophie, we're doing the TikTok. Our painted pony treats. I really want to give a dinosaur one to, to 
Chance and Chino. Chance doesn't like them. Chance doesn't like them? Oh. They're good. Echo gets a watermelon. And he likes it. He's like, thank you, Elizabeth. All right, Denver's getting a dinosaur. Denver's getting a bath because he's sweaty. Okay, hurry because we got to go those see our horses. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, those are Here, you yeah. give Echo a dinosaur. Did you give one to Storm? No, no, no. We got to give one to Storm. Give one to her. Yeah, those are now. All right, give her one. And we want two for our horses. Here's a watermelon for Storm. <laughs> go ahead. He's like, yeah, he's picky about treats. He'd probably like it though. You want to eat it. He doesn't. You can smell it. You want it? There he goes. He bit it. So we are headed home. It is like wet. Met us halfway. Chino met you halfway. It is damp. My hair is like puffing up, and took off one of his belt boots. Did he? Oh, that's not good. Um, so we went, we walked around with our friends, Barn Boots and Country Roots, if you guys are new or you don't know the name of their channel, that's it. And they, we ride with them on, uh, we ride with them every week. Wow, look at the lighting. Like, look at the sky. I love it. So anyways, we went walking around the farm with them and we went in the back and looked at, and said hi to Chino and brought him a treat and we brought um, Chance a treat. Chance is like one of four chestnuts. All the chestnuts almost are in that there's field. Only three three oh, there's only three chestnuts. Oh, there's only three chestnuts. So, yeah. So, anyways, we were looking at there and we see these three chestnuts standing around the round bale eating. And you could you couldn't tell like if you looked specifically at the other ones, you could tell they were they were bigger, but you couldn't tell Chance by how skinny he was. Like normally, you can say, oh, that's my horse because from the side you can tell that he he's like pretty that's thin. Tell him about his because I recognize him. Yeah, but he didn't look like so drastically different than the other ones as you could tell. So it was really that was really good. But anyway, we're headed home and we're gonna edit and get some videos up. We also shot a TikTok with our friends. It's one that I've been wanting to shoot and I've been like planning it all day. So I'm gonna try and edit that tomorrow when probably today when you guys are watching this and post it. I'm so excited about it. Anyway, that is it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the